Hey, this is Lon with Single Track Skills. I'm at Ride Birmingham, and I promised that we would dissect this next line coming up. It's the steepest section of back door. I'm going to flip the camera around and just give you some insight into how to do this feature and even how to get to it. It's not as easily found as some of the other ones we've highlighted, so let's get it done. So the way you reach um, this feature is you get off on Upper Chiropractor off of peak one and you'll notice that that trail will split and you'll have the option of taking a left and going here to uh to lower chiropractor um but what you want to do if you want to get to the feature we're going to highlight today is you want to stay right and you'll head into what's called the pro line here back door this first roll down is the easier of the two. I won't spend a lot of time on the easier of the two options here uh, coming up, but I will give a couple tips on this first one just because you have to ride it to get to the more difficult straight down back door feature. So on this one, I swing wide here, wide to the left. That way I can line it up straight. Um, you can just do a baby, baby pop drop off of this. If you don't know what a pop drop all is, then uh, get with me on my drops and jumps course out here. Um, but what's preferable is the second drop that I teach, and that is the lunge drop. Um, so that's pr preferred on this. Yeah, it, it, is, it is a bit of a drop, and there's not a, not a, lot, a lot of transition there. So it's not an easy line for sure, and that's why they call this a, a pro line. So let's get on down to the, uh, the real meat and potatoes of what we're dealing with today. And then right after that lunge drop, you're going to round the corner here, hit the berm. And again, you want to stay right for the feature we're going to highlight today. If you want to go left, you get into more difficult stuff with that step up right there, off into probably, I think, the most challenging feature in the park. It's a drop step down. But we're going to head to the right where it says back door. And this is the more difficult of the back door rolls. All right, so one of the things I do on this, because this section of trail is not ridden a lot, is I always look at it before I do it because sometimes a tree can be down at the bottom. Maybe a tree fell overnight or something like that and um, it could be down at the bottom. So I, I always pull off the side of the trail and put my bar, bike on one side or the other of the trail and I actually walk up and take a look at it just to make sure a, tree, a tree's not down. Now, the way I'm gonna teach this is the easier of the two ways. I know there's some guys out here that actually jump into this. I think Grayson does and some other guys, and I'll let them teach that. That's more advanced in my judgment than what I'm teaching. One of the first things that I'm going to do after I check for the uh, tree down or anything down there in my landing is I set up my entry. So, so I'm going to make a make a make a mark in the soil, or I can even put a stick down to mark it because wait, basically what I want to do is I want to take all the guesswork out of this so that, um, so that I'm just thinking about the feature. All right. Uh, review, nothing's changed from the other things that I've mentioned on the other roll down. Same kind of thing. Go slow, but not too slow. How do you know too slow? Well, there's a weeble wobble in the front wheel. And so you give it a little ratchet to bring that weeble wobble out. Because the last thing I want that last thing I want to have happen is that front wheel to weeble wobble and hook one way or another and send me falling off of this feature. So speed is the number one thing to keep in mind after you line up your line. Number two, I would say on this particular feature is where not to look. Do not look at this tree or those trees. If you look at those trees, you will hit them. Look where you want to go, not what makes you afraid and where you don't want to go. That's a huge, huge thing on any feature, but on this one in particular, because the trees are pretty darn close. So I'm not going to, not going to look at any of these trees over here to the right. I'm not going to look at any of these trees over here to the left. I may even, this is my first time doing the feature. I may even put some small sticks down there where I want to look. You're going to roll into it slow and low, let off your brakes 
and just stay centered on the bike. I don't want to get too far back on the bike, which is probably the most common thing because if we're afraid of something, we have a tendency to get far back and, and move away from it. Do not want to get far back on the bike and lock my elbows. Otherwise, I'll get catapulted off the top of this thing. But I also don't want to be too far forward because then I can't handle the G out down here at the bottom. So basically just centered on the bike. You're centered on the bike, heavy feet, light hands. And, and then once you roll over the top, there's no use touching the brakes because the brakes aren't going to do anything but make your suspension not work as well. A lot of people are worried about these rocks that, that stick out here. They're nothing to worry about at all. They, they get in your head, they look scary, but they're not. Just As long as you don't have the, the, the brakes on, you, your wheels will just bounce right over that. It's not a problem at all. As you can see, the thing is pretty darn steep. It's not vertical, but it's, it's pretty steep. Um, let me see, is there anything else that I would say? Oh yeah, one more tip on this. Um, let's say that the trail builders had set it up to where you're rolling over here. Well, that's even more abrupt. I would actually check my bottom bracket on my bike. So basically bring your bike up, hanging over the edge. And if your bottom bracket hits, then you wouldn't want to do the feature if your bottom bracket's too low, because if your bottom bracket hits, it's going to cause the bike to hang up and send you over the handlebars. Um, this one is okay. Um, but when I've watched the videos of doing it on my bikes, my bottom bracket is almost touching on this, especially with my body weight on the bike. So it, it's all going to depend on, be dependent on how low your bottom bracket is, how much air you have in your suspension, how heavy you are. But that's just a tip for any kind of these, any of these roll, roll ins with really abrupt, um, sharp angles right when you're coming in. So if you, if it'll make you feel better to check that, you can check that before you roll in. But when you're doing that, be sure and be, be listening and looking up the trail because you want to stay out of the way of anybody coming down this. Yeah, that's it. If you have any more questions, hit me up. I'll see if I can uh, get you the answers. Right on.